Hi guys, this video will show how you can take your Bitmoji Classroom and make it your homepage in Canvas. Most of us see this as the default when we have a new course in Canvas, and so I'm gonna show you how you can take the Bitmoji Classroom and make that your homepage instead. So this is the free template that's been going around on Facebook groups, and so I will share the link to this template in the comments, uh, but I just wanna show you guys kind of where I started from. So I started with this template, and then I tweaked it and made it my own. I do want to point out just a couple things on here. So you'll notice that these are actually live links and they just link to YouTube, but those will open in a new tab from your Canvas homepage. But also anything that's linked to something in Canvas will also open in a new tab. So I just wanted to give you a heads up there because they will not open in the same window. So from here, I am gonna go ahead and click on File, and then I'm gonna do Publish to Web, and then I'm gonna click on Embed, and then I'm gonna just copy the embed code straight from here. Now I'm gonna hop on over to my Canvas sandbox that I'm using to play in this summer, and I'm gonna click on Pages. From here, I'm going to do a new page, and I am going to name it just my Bitmoji homepage. Now, I am working in the new rich content editor, so I would find the ability to switch over to HTML down here, but if you are working in the new rich content editor, that will most likely be found up there. So I'm going to go ahead and click over here to switch into HTML, and I'm going to paste that HTML code exactly how it is, and then I'm going to click Save. Now here I want to point out a few things again. You'll notice that I still have this toolbar, which I'm not too crazy about, so I'm going to show you how you can get rid of that toolbar. So I'm going to go back into Edit, and I'm going to hop back over to HTML, and I'm going to tweak just a couple of things. The first thing I'm going to tweak is the width and the height. Um, you'll notice on the home page that the students will have some navigational things on the right hand side and so it does kind of change the size of that page. So I did some kind of trial and error and I found that 900 by 495 worked really well for my screen resolution. Um, you may find a different number works for you but that is what worked for me. So then from here, I'm also going to, right after this 3000, I'm gonna add in the and sign, and then rm equals minimal. And this is what's actually gonna get rid of that toolbar. So now I'm gonna click save, and you'll notice that the toolbar is gone. Now I am still seeing these kind of black bars, which is okay, uh, but once I make it my home page, those black bars will go away. So I'm gonna go ahead now and publish my page since I'm happy with how it looks, and then I'm gonna click on Home. Now is the fun part. <laughs> so from here, I'm gonna go ahead and click Choose Home Page, but I do not have a front page set up, so I can't make my page a home page quite yet. So I'm going to go ahead now and click on this front page must be set first and go back into my pages page. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and make my Bitmoji homepage my front page by clicking on these three dots and just use as front page. Now when I come back to my homepage and I click choose home page, I can now select that bullet and click save and now my Bitmoji Classroom is on my Canvas homepage. Again, you'll notice though that these links are live, but they do open in a new tab. Same thing if I were to link within this Canvas course, it will open up in a new tab as well. Hopefully this helps you as you are taking your Canvas page and making it a little more fun for your students by using your Bitmoji, your Bitmoji Classroom.